everyone, it's Kidu. In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of Leo's Nendroid from Good Smell Company. He is from the anime movie Promare. I have the Gallo figure, which I will link his videos in the description below if you're interested. So here is what his box looks like. This is the DX version, um, the complete combustion version, which means he comes with extra pieces. So you can put him in a few extra poses. I believe this is the extra pose. It's been a while since he was released, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think that was the extra pose that this edition came with. So this is his box. You can see the poses that you can put him in. Super cute. He also came with, and I don't know if this was just with the complete combustion version or if this was just a Good Smell Company exclusive. I think this might have been a Good, Good Smell Company exclusive, but it is an acrylic stand. So you put it up behind him when he is on his little, his little throne, pretty much. So you put it behind him like that. I'm probably not going to be posing him with this just because I don't have space in my figure case for it. Otherwise, I would have posed him with it because it's really cool. So it has the little plastic base. It's just in some plastic here. I'm going to leave it in there for now. And then we've got the flames themselves. Very nice, shiny acrylic. I'm going to try not to muck it up with fingerprints, but that is what it looks like. It'll be super cool to pose him with that if I had the space. His box is really cute though. It's like the exact opposite of Gallows, which I think is really nice. <laughs> Again, if you want to see his videos, I will put a link in the description below and you can check that out. Let's open him up. He just has a solid pink background inside the box. This is hefty because he comes with quite a few pieces, so just pink background inside. Of course, he comes with instructions down there. Here is how he is packaged. We've got the two extra face plates here. Of course, Leo himself, all of his accessories, and then we have a secondary one with his other accessories. We have his shirtless torso and some other pieces. I'm just going to cut this off. So here is this set here gonna pop that open. We've got his flare where it's leaving his hand. We have two extra arm pieces here. I believe there's no hands on them but it looks like there's spacers to keep the the peg holes from shrinking. And then we have a little gloved fist here. Of course a standard base. So it's kind of neat that the base actually came in like a thing like this versus just being in a plastic thing taped to the bottom like it normally is. And of course we have the standard support here. Here his, here's his little throne legs. It looks like he has a black mark on his torso. I'm going to try to figure that out. This is, uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what scene this is from. And that's where we would be putting the little flame here. Oh, and actually, if you can see, there is a tiny little peg on his pinky here. And his thumb is pinky on his thumb here. And that's where we would hook the little flame in. There's like a little hole right there. Uh, I'm going to try to get this little black mark off him. Well, that's actually a little disappointing. I can't really get it off, so I think I'm going to contact Good Smell Company and see if they can send a replacement piece in that doesn't have this black mark. Not only is that black mark there, but there's also, I don't know if you can see, but there's some black marks on the palm of his hand here, or in like his wrist, and some black in between his fingers here. Uh, I don't know if it's just from the paint from this maybe smudging up or something, but that is something I'm going to contact them about because I'm not a big fan of that. So that's what the little flame looks like leaving. I'm not going to pull out the other arms with the little clenched fists. They're pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to leave those like that. Let us get him out of his box here. Here we have the extra face plates. We have his little vulnerable face, which is so cute. And his eyes look gorgeous. I love the eyelashes. I love that they just in the art style have his eyelashes matching his hair color. It's so pretty. 
And then we have his little earring here. I can tell the paint is a little smudged on the earring, which is unfortunate. I actually had some quality issues with Gallo's Nendorite as well. Um, I was hoping there wouldn't be as many issues on this one, but other than that black marker, I haven't seen anything yet, but we'll, we'll see as we go in further. Here's his little smiling one. Got his earring as well. Still super nice. We peel off this tape to show you his accessories. So we have an extra hand here with his sword. His flame sword. Uh, I can already see there's like some quality issues right here. I don't know if you can see with my camera, but there's like some weird texture right there. It looks like it was not sculpted very well. Or not that it wasn't sculpted very well, but like maybe something happened with the mold. You have the ice handcuffs, shackles, whatever you want to call them here. For the one pose that you can pose him while he is detained. We've got a regular little Promare flare. We've got two extra hands and arm pieces for the other poses. This is him here. Let's get this plastic off of him. His head is so heavy because his hair is so thick. This boy has got a good head of hair. Oh my goodness, his hair is so heavy and chunky. I love it. Here's his other face plate without any hair covering it. He looks bald with the little earring. Oh my goodness, look how thick that hair is. He's so cute. His hair looks really good so far. The sculpt is really nice. So the paint job looks like underneath. Oh my goodness. I, I I love that they did the gradient and that you can still see all of the like blue underneath. He has like the tiniest little dirt spot under his eye that I don't know if you can see it. Um, I might have to try to get that off with a magic eraser. So now that he's back on his body, this is what his full outfit looks like. And his little, his little gloved hands are like half gloved hands. <laughs> he is super cute. I love the movie Promare. If you haven't seen it yet, highly, highly recommend it. It is absolutely fantastic. It is beautiful and hilarious and action packed and heartfelt. And it's just great. <laughs> Also, this soundtrack is fantastic. I'm sure you have seen it if you're watching this video, but if you have not seen it yet, definitely go do that. But yeah, this figure is super cute. I am loving him. Look at his little bangs. <laughs> his hair is so thick. He's a chunky head. <laughs> and look how pretty his eyes are. Like, oh, he's gorgeous. Okay, absolutely in love. I'm going to pose him now. And then I will show you guys him once he's posed. Okay, so this is just super unfortunate. Um, this is probably just a manufacturer defect. <laughs> Unfortunately, this bag is not fitting in his back. So it looks like the hole in his back is just the tiniest bit too tight. And I cannot get it in. I've tried everything at this point. So I am just going to leave him without a base. <laughs> For the moment, uh, I'm going to contact Good Smell Company and see if they can potentially replace the few defected pieces in this figure, including um, his shirtless piece that has a dark paint smudge on it that I can't get off. And also the hole in his back is just not fitting. So, and I don't want to damage it any further <laughs> from trying to put the peg in the hole, but the it just, it won't. That sounds dirty but it won't fit so this is how I was going to pose him with the flame and I can't get the flame in the hand so this is how I was going to pose him um this flame really doesn't want to like stay in his hand like it doesn't fit in there well it just keeps kind of popping off uh this is really sad I don't know what it is with both of the Promare figures just having kind of an issue with quality control I don't know what's going on with that like I just want this stuff to work properly um I'm really worried this is just gonna fall out if I bang it but yeah anyways so this is his figure 
<laughs> I'm just gonna have to show you guys like this. This is how I was gonna pose him on his base, but I can't do that without the base fitting, so that's a thing. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys the more details. He has little buckles on his pants, the colors coming down his pants, his belt here has a texture which is really neat and you've got all of his little buckles here and his little is this a cravat I don't know what this is I think that's a cravat right I don't know he has his little frilly bits everywhere I think he looks very nice other than the few issues that he has uh, I'm sorry I can't put him in a proper like video with with his base but I can't even put him with my nidroids right now because of this issue so I guess that's just something I'm gonna have to deal with until they send me their replacement parts but yeah that's cool <laughs> this is what he looks like he is super cute I am in love this is Gallo with him I was gonna pose them side by side like this you know it was going to be nice. Again, I was going to do a ship your pose, but unfortunately I just don't have the mental capacity to try to come up with a pose. And I just wanted to get this video posted. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the description below for Gala's videos and you can find my social media down there as well as my affiliate links to CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you guys so much for doing that. And uh, that is all. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think about Leo's adorable little nendroid here and what you made me think of also the few issues he has. If you have seen my Gallo unboxing and closer look, I did his in two videos the way I used to do. Um, so you can check those out and kind of see the issues I had with his figure as well and the quality. Normally, like, nendroids are great. Sometimes you do run into, like, the occasional problem, but that's literally with anything that's just inevitable with stuff so yeah unfortunately it happened to be both of them that have had issues his figure was such a pain in the ass to pose like <laughs> i wanted to die it was awful anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye